if you've ever watched Disney's Fantasia. In the scene, the original Fantasia, in the scene where Mickey Mouse is the sorcerer's apprentice. This is probably the most famous song that you would recognize a bassoon in. A bassoon is a woodwind instrument and it plays really low. <laughs> Some more things to know about the bassoon is that it is a reed instrument. Some woodwinds like flute don't have a reed, but they used to be made out of wood, although now they're made more out of silver. But the bassoon is a reed instrument and reed is made out of wood or bamboo. Now I learned how, when I started learning to play bassoon, I learned how to make my own reeds because these reeds can be rather expensive and you can fine tune them and shape them the way that it fits for you. Now my reed is a double reed. The clarinet has a single reed, which I'll show you sometime, and a saxophone also has a single reed, but this is a double reed. Oboes also are double reed instruments, but they're smaller. So you make a tube and then you form it together, wrap it around, cut the tip. And there's a lot more that goes into it than that. But that's how you fine tune and make a good bassoon sound. We're gonna do a craft where you can make a sound like a crow that you make on the bassoon reed. And if you can do that on a straw in the way I show you, then you are ready to play a bassoon or an oboe. I really like the bassoon because of the nice low sounds. And another interesting feature is that you'll notice there's a lot of keys on the back. These are all played by my thumb, just my thumb. And it, that's what helps to go really low and also really high. But those are the lowest sounds. Look at all these pipings. Look how tall it is. It's almost as tall as me when I stand up. And this, this piece here is where the reed goes on. It's called the vocal. If you know Spanish, boca means your mouth. A vocal is where you put your mouth to blow and make the sound. And I sit on a seat strap on my seat to balance the bassoon across my lap so I can play. in the orchestra because it can add a sense of like mystery. It also can be kind of quirky and funny. And also mysterious, like in The Mountain King. I studied on in college and all throughout high school and middle school. I started playing on the clarinet though. It was a nice starter. You have to be a little bigger to play this bassoon. Maybe someday you'll play the bassoon. I'd be happy to teach you. For this week's project to make music at home, we're going to make your own reed like the kind of reed I played on my bassoon, my double reed. And to mimic this, you're going to need some plastic straws at home. Now those might be hard to find because more and more we're getting silicone straws, but if you have some plastic straws, any size will do. It could be a fatter size or a skinnier size, and it's okay, You'll see, we'll get to hear the difference of what happens with the different sizes. Now to make sound in a woodwind instrument, sound is caused by vibration, and the vibration comes from the reed. 
and that is called the crow on my bassoon. So what we're gonna do with these straws to help you make feel what it's like to blow and make a sound on a bassoon, we're gonna cut the corners of the straw. So you're gonna need a parent to help you with this. So I'm flattening the tube and I'm gonna just cut the corners and squish it down and cut the corners so that it makes a nice little point like that. So that makes like that. And so what you're gonna do, I'm Dibby, I'm gonna help you make yours, okay? She's using this tiny one and you just wanna kinda corner that so it makes a point and you're gonna wanna open it back up because mine's squished down. So you wanna open it up so you can, it can be open in your mouth and you're gonna put it in, completely in your mouth. Now this might take a couple tries. Aha, there you go. You're gonna wanna put it right inside your mouth and you're gonna wanna push down a little pressure down because you don't want it being too wide. You want to put a little the balance of pressure with your lips to sustain it. It's buzzing against your lips. There you go. Hooray! You did it. Okay, so I just had to get the right balance on my lips to roll a little bit over my teeth. Now watch what can happen. Sound also vibrates through the tube. So when you change pitches on a woodwind instrument, there's whole keyholes on your instrument, and the more holes you have covered. The longer the tube of sound is, the lower the note. Watch what happens when I shorten the tube by cutting the length. Now again, children, don't do this at home. You can have your parents help by cutting little portions. Don't cut it while you're playing. Have an adult help you cut it smaller. And the bigger one has a lower pitch sound in general. There you go. You just created your own little bassoon reed. And it makes more sound when you actually put it on an instrument. And that's how you make a reeded sound out of a straw.
by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, back to my home. I dare not go, I dare not go. For if I do, for if I do, my mother would say, my mother would say. Did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? Down, down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, back to my home. I dare not go, I dare not go. For if I do, for if I do, my mother would say, my mother would say. Did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons. Did you ever see a bear combing his hair? Down, down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, back to my home. I dare not go, I dare not go. For if I do, for if I do, my mother would say, my mother would say. Did you ever see llamas eating their pajamas? Down, down by the bay, down by the bay. Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Down by the bay. Who fed the chickens? I did. Who stacked the hay? chickens we did who stacked the hay we did who milked the cows we did on this fine day stand up on your feet for oats peas beans and barley grow Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Can you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? First the farmer sows his seed, stands up tall and takes his ease. He stumps his feet and claps his hands and turns around to view his lands. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Can you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Next the farmer waters his seed, stands up tall and takes his ease. He stamps his feet and claps his hands and turns around to view his lands. Oats, peas, beans and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans and barley grow. Can you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans and barley grow? Next the farmer hoes the weeds, stands up tall and takes his ease. He stamps his feet and claps his hands and turns around to view his lands. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Can you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Lest the farmer harvest the seed. 
leads, stands up tall and takes his ease. He stamps his feet and claps his hands and turns around to view his lands. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Can you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Well, that's our show this week. We hope you had fun. We sure had fun playing and singing along with you. Now, before our last song, I want to include you in our next episode. So sing along to Bye Bye Butterfly. Have your parents record you singing along. You can sing along, take a, take a video, and you can send it to me via email, kway at bemisptcsd.org. And you can even sing along with this video. So we're gonna, you're going to be the echo so we want to hear you singing along, and we're going to stop and listen for you in this song. One, two, three, four, one. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye -bye.